issue. I have a huge issue. <laughs> I really hate spending money. I do. Trust me on that. I hate spending money. It makes me feel horrible. I always feel like shit just before I press purchase. But yet again, I'm still so addicted to it. And so, ladies and gentlemen, we're here today because of that issue. And uh, I'm going to show you my new purchases because there are a few. I was thinking we should start with some jackets and I might as well start with the jacket that I'm wearing right now. This is from a Korean brand called Spooning. Um, it's, it's a funky name, yes. And I actually got to know this brand because I saw it was mentioned because Jenny from Blackpink was wearing a skirt at the Gentle Monster pop-up, I think it was. And that's actually a skirt that matches this blazer. I love this blazer because it's cropped, but it's kind of oversized cropped. And the edges here are open. Like it's, it's all ruffled up like that. I think that's so classy, so stylish. I love wearing this with skirt. I think it looks adorable. You've seen it on my channel before. I'll link the video here. I did buy matching pants to it, but they, um, that was a gamble. And I thought I've learned that I do not fit into Korean pants, but apparently I didn't learn that properly. So they were way too short and I'm gonna give them to my friend. The next jacket that I got is this beautiful, beautiful jacket from a Korean online shopping mall. This is a faux leather jacket. I bought this because of the color. It's so beautiful. I am really trying to incorporate a little bit more colors into my outfit without it going overboard. And so this was a great way for me to do that. Um, the sleeves are a tiny bit short on me, but that's to expect it with Korean sizes, but I just love the color. I think this is a great uh, stable piece of my wardrobe that I can throw on something if I'm wearing a little bit of a too basic outfit. The last jacket that I have is this um, amazing vintage piece, actually. This is a thrifted, I always have a hard time saying that word. This is a thrifted piece. It is upcycled. They embroidered in a little Nike logo, but it's actually a cropped um, laser leather jacket. Um, I'm pretty sure this is real leather. It definitely costed like it was real leather, but um, since it's a thrifted piece, I don't really have an issue with doing that. So yeah, I'm uh, really, really in love with this jacket. I have worn it a lot when I wanted something that looked like a classic piece, but it has this street finish to it with the Nike logo. I think that's amazing. Then I did some shopping at a online store called Realization Pa. I've heard about it before because I used to be in love with their floral pieces. Um, never actually bought one of those, but I was always in love with that. But then I saw that they have zodiac sign blouses. Isn't this so cute? Like Virgo, that's amazing. Um, I'm not gonna wear this one because I forgot it in the washer yesterday. So it's kind of wet and it's a little bit smelly. So that's going back to the washer again. Um, I hate when that happens. It happens a lot to me. I always forget that I'm washing clothes. But yeah, nonetheless, I wanted to bring it and show you guys because it's so cute. <laughs> and another thing that I also got from Realization was their just regular cap here. This is with a little red lettering that says Realization. I um, just am very obsessed with red as like a little pop of color, especially when it's graphics. I don't know, I think it looks great. That's why like in my videos as well, I've sometimes been using the red lettering. And I'm also very obsessed with caps these days. I never used to wear them. I only used to have one black cap and that's it. And I only wore it when I wanted to hide my face. But now I'm definitely getting into more of using it as a fashion piece. As a matter of fact, I actually got another cap. So let me show you that. Here we go. This is the cap. It is such a beautiful color. This is from a brand called Shinon. It's also a Korean online mall. I was just so in love with it because of the colors here. I love this like mint green color. As a matter of fact, I did my toes in that color right now. I'm not gonna show you my feet because then I'm gonna end up on a porn website. But um, <laughs> I really, really love this cap. I'm wearing it a lot. I think it looks so cute with a lot of different like actual um, outfits. I like to mix this with um, other blue colors and such. I don't know, I think it looks really cute. 
It's this blue apartment. Yeah. I posted an Instagram story wearing this set, this cardigan and top knit set. And I don't think I've ever gotten that many messages from you guys asking where it was from. And um, here it is. It is from a website called Cider. I saw them because of their Facebook ads and um, it looked very much like a <laughs> too good to be true kind of website and it was. I actually ordered um, a few different pieces and this is the only one that actually seemed fine quality enough to wear. It is uh, definitely too short on my arms and all of that, but I can make it look good styling it up a bit, I think. Um, so that's why I kept it. I wouldn't recommend shopping from that website. It is just um, very obviously cheap, Chinese manufactured and probably also drop shipped clothes. Nonetheless, I actually really like this set. Um, it's also very comfortable and it's really, really warm. So um, I can't breathe in it whatsoever. And I also cannot wear a bra in it. So um, my titties are all nice and comfortable when I'm wearing this set. Yeah, I cannot make this video without at least mentioning my sweats obsession because I pretty much have not been wearing anything else than that since my last what I recently bought video. I <laughs> am so obsessed with sweatshirts, sweatpants, and especially my new obsession, sweat shorts. Like who invented this? So this specific set, I also got a lot of comments on. It, it was actually sent to me for free after I bought myself another piece from their website. This is from a company called um, Wave Union. It's also a Korean shop, um, online mall. And I initially fell in love with them because of the logo that they have. It says sustainable fashion for the earth. And it is amazing. It's so beautiful. I don't actually know if they are sustainable or not. I might want to look into that, but um, I fell in love with the lettering on it, the graphics, the words, and the color. I told you guys, I'm obsessed with this mint color. It's so beautiful. And the shorts here has this little sustainable stamp on it as well. But also something that I do enjoy is to style it up just with the shorts and then a tight top and a blazer. I also really like how that looks. I have another set as well. Let me show you that. This is actually the same pair as the mint shorts. This is from Wave Union and it says sustainable in a dark green. This is not a mint green, this is like a regular dark green. And that's why I fell in love with it because I also really, really love green as like graphics. I think green and red is my obsession these days. I did get a, the matching top to this too with like same design as the mint green color, but I sent it to my old address and it came too late. Like, and the new owner of my house hasn't like contacted me or anything. They haven't contacted the landlord. And I have like at least a couple of packages standing in my old house. And I really want my sweatshirt. And then I found this sweatshirt. And uh, you might think that this is actually the matching one to that, but it is not. This is something that I got from a company called Our Seasons. I bought this because I saw that as a Facebook ad and I fell in love with the green on gray and it, it talked to me. I, I love the lettering as well. It says, um, I hope something good happens to you today. And it, it just makes me happy. It makes me happy reading this. It's such a cute little shirt. And I feel like people are looking at my boobs trying to read this when I'm wearing it. And I hope that they have a good day after they read it. And um, this is the only situation where I really love if someone is staring at my boobs. Because my boobs are saying sweet things to you. Next up is a brand called L-E-E-Y. I got three things from that brand. The first thing is um, this cardigan. I have seen this style so many places and I actually originally really wanted something in green. I found another place where they sell it in green. I don't know why I didn't buy that and I bought this instead, but I don't regret it. I think it's so cute. It's very oversized and it honestly just looked like a scarf, but it is actually a cardigan. If it's a little bit chilly, but not really, it's a warm chilly day, 
I think this is good, but honestly, this probably wouldn't keep you warm in the winter, so it's definitely a transition piece, um, which is perfect for the current season. Other thing that I got <laughs> from that website is uh, something that looks like something that the dog dragged home. It is the top of a sweater. Um, yeah, it's basically just a blue sweater where someone cut off the bottom. And I did see this, I think Zara did it a lot with like actual like finished um, ends and such. This is definitely made to look like someone just cut it off at the end. I hope it's not gonna rip. Oh my God, it is. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna wear this a lot. I can't wait to style it and show you guys. The last item that I got from LEY is this nylon bag. Um, I've been wanting a nylon bag for the longest time and the classy purchase would be to get myself a Prada bag, but um, I don't want to spend that kind of money. I'm... That's the kind of money that gives me anxiety to spend, honestly. And I'm kind of surprised about how many things that actually fits in here. Yesterday I went out with my boyfriend in this and I fit it like wallet, cushion, like I fitted everything and female bags don't usually hold stuff like that very well, right? Anyways, it also has a little pocket inside. So yeah, I just think it's a cute bag. I have three pairs of bottoms that I want to show you guys. The first one is a skirt. It is this one, this little silky lovely skirt with a little sleeve in right here. This is a size 40. It is hanging very nice and loosely on the hips. It's not sitting up in my waist, which I think is meant to do, but I do like that it's a little bit more relaxed on me and it's just super elegant with the kind of silky finish that it has here. So yeah, I really, really enjoy that. I actually love styling it with exactly what I'm wearing on the top right now. I think that looks so cute. I was wearing that in my date with Kyutuhan. I felt adorable. I love that outfit. <laughs> I think it's my favorite outfit that I've worn this past few weeks, which says a lot because I think my fashion is on fire these days. The next item is this brown pair of slacks. I've mentioned them on Instagram before. This is from a brand called Bonafide. It's a fully sustainable brand. They are amazing. And the reason why I'm showing you these pants is because I have never worn more well-fitted pants than these. The length is perfect, the waist is perfect, the hips are perfect. If you're a tall girl, I really, really recommend you to check out these pants and the color, come on. Like brown is definitely the color of the season. Brown is trending so much when it comes to fashion. In fact, people are wearing outfits that are all brown and I'm dinging it, I'm loving it. I love all brown outfits. I am definitely loving it. <laughs> and can we also just talk about how gorgeous these looks together with the Jordans? Like. Oh my god, that was so pretty. Anyways, that's definitely a recommendation for me. Next up is these pants. And these pants I'm not proud of having bought because um, they're from Zara. And as I told you in my last purchases video, I am really, really trying my best not to buy stuff from Zara. The reason why I'm still buying is because I'm a tall ass girl in Korea and I can't find pants that fit me anywhere else in Zara if I have to buy something here in the country. I did buy some jeans from a, um, I think it's an Australian company and they're on their way, but um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep you guys updated with that if they fit me or not. The only thing is that like shipping and taxes and such when you buy from abroad here in Korea can become kind of expensive. So yeah, that's why Zara is still a part of my life, but definitely not as much anymore. Um, but the pants, I just, I can't. That's the only option for me so far. <laughs> Speaking about expensive taxes on abroad products, I was in love with these pants online for I don't even know how long. I was very hesitant because they're expensive and I knew that expensive things comes with expensive taxes when you order them to Korea, but I got them. They are from um, Simonet and so many people are wearing that and it, they all look so cute. Um, but the thing is, most of the people who wore this were really, really slim and didn't have a lot of butt and thighs. 
and I do have a lot of bottom thighs. Not a lot, but I have more <laughs> than those girls. And um, it just looks very different on me. I just realized this shirt is dirty. <laughs> there is like a little dirt here. Ah, damn it. That sucks. Anyways, this is one of my new favorite t-shirts. I got this one because I saw that Kinda Cool was wearing, like she did a video with this brand and the fit of this t-shirt is just to die for. And I've been looking for that for a long time, so I got it. Um, it's from VP Plement, it's called. And uh, yeah, I'm so obsessed with the fit. This is very, very like Y2K style um, and it's beautiful. <laughs> I love that it's cropped and that the arms are cropped as well so I can show off my new tattoo and also maybe a little bit of belly button action with this one. I uh, Yeah, the fit is perfect and my absolute favorite thing about this is that the neckline is super high. Like for example this top I would have loved for the neckline to be up here so that the necklaces would hang outside of the top so I keep pulling it down like this. But this one has a really really tight neckline and I'm living for it. When I was talking about Wave Union, I totally forgot about this one because this is also one of the tees that I forgot in the washer. <laughs> and I did get a lot of questions about it because it is a beautiful Stockholm t-shirt. Um, I love the graphics on this. And I do love that it says only one earth declaration on human environment. I was wearing it on the podcast with uh, Dive Studios, the Joan and, and Stephanie's podcast. And yeah, I got lots of messages about it. It's from Wave Union. I don't know if they ship abroad, but yeah, you can definitely check that out. So yeah, this is where my Stockholm t-shirt is from. And then I got a beautiful summer dress. I was wearing this on the Hangang date with the boyfriend. It has been a while since I have been wearing something that is this girly. Um, I love wearing feminine stuff, but feminine and girly in my head is a little bit different. This one has 3D embroidered flowers all over it. Oh, actually it's not flowers, it's leaves. Yeah, 3D embroidered leaves all over it. And it's one of those doll dresses where um, you look big, but you know, when you have something on that's very big, then your legs look slimmer and longer. And I really uh, like the look of that. In order to not look as girly, I paired it up when I was at the date with my under the knee boots that are from Dark Victory, they're not new, you've seen them before, but I still got a lot of messages about them. Uh, yeah. At another stories, I also got my little loafers here. And um, I have been actually really wanting platform loafers for a long time. The loafers that I was originally gonna buy, again, was the Prada ones, but they're sold out anywhere. Those loafers, I would definitely put my money into, like, then with a little Prada logo. But anyways, this is the closest that I could come on that and uh, very much more of an affordable solution, I would say. I love another story shoes. They're amazing quality, but they're not extremely expensive. Like these were 129,001. Now we're on to the last item. And I think this item is safe to say that it's my favorite thing that I've bought the last year or so. Some people might have guessed it, but it's my Jordans. It's my beautiful, beautiful Mocha Jordans 1. Ah, uh, okay. You know what? I actually was never really interested in Jordans until the boyfriend pushed me so much that I should get into shoes that I decided, okay, fuck it, let's do it. So I bought them. And um, it was the best decision of my life. <laughs> Jordans are amazing. They're so comfortable. They look so cute. You can style them up. You can style them down. You can just be your comfy self. Like, uh, I'm definitely gonna buy more Jordan pairs. I uh, signed up for a raffle for some new, like, green ones. Um, like, dark green. <sighs> They're so beautiful. And for those of you who don't know, Jordans, uh, at least most of them, the, the good and popular ones, 
you can't really buy them directly if you do then you have to sign up for a raffle who gets it it's like a random thing and then you get to buy them for very cheap like the actual retail price but um most people don't win the raffle so they have to buy them at a reseller i bought them on a reselling app here in korea called cream and uh, then it's a lot more expensive like i think these shoes were like five or six hundred dollars so it's definitely not cheap but that's what you gotta go through if you want to buy jordans and a lot of people ask me and they say they couldn't find them anywhere but you've got to go to a reselling app or reselling websites that is how you can get your jordans yeah so that was all of the items that i had for you guys i know that was a lot i was actually very surprised i came in here with two full suitcases Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the links down below because I've linked every single item that I could find. Hopefully I could find all of them. And then also follow me on Instagram right here. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. You're so far away, Jesus.